North Korea has the reputation of being the world's most secretive nation, but its leader is quite open about his nuclear ambitions. Kim Jong-un unveiled seven types of missiles for the first time in public at a military parade in April and warned in his New Year's address that scientists were in the final stages of preparing to test launch an intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM. On the 4th of July, North Korea did just that. Kim called the North's first ICBM launch a gift to Americans celebrating their Independence Day. State TV said the missile was capable of hitting anywhere in the world. Analysts estimate it's more likely to be able to fly about as far as the U.S. state of Alaska. It was the sixth round of missile tests in two months and followed the launch in May of an intermediate-range ballistic missile, another one of the seven seen at the military parade the month before. North Korea says its ultimate goal is to develop an ICBM that can deliver a nuclear weapon to the U.S. mainland. For that, it needs to develop a miniaturized nuclear warhead which can be mounted on top of a missile. It needs to develop the technology so the missile withstands the intense heat produced when it re-enters the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds, and the engineers must develop guidance systems so the missile hits its target. Defense and intelligence leaders in the U.S. and South Korea have said they don't believe Kim Jong-un's military has all of those capabilities yet, but each test brings new concerns that North Korea is one step closer to realizing its ambitions.